What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we just finished the live stream reactions uh, with the homie Chiseled Adonis on the main page, on the Inner Clutch page. Shout out to Chiseled for being part of the live stream reactions tonight. We had a good time watching SmackDown Live. But the show mostly revolved around Randy Orton being on SmackDown and potentially where he was going to sign. Uh, where he was going to sign a contract to was it going to be smackdown or was it going to be monday night raw we found out during one of the backstage segments that uh nick aldis was going to try to sign randy orton to smackdown paul Heyman comes into his office he's obviously not happy about that he, he you know he's not really okay with the notion of randy orton being on smackdown and him trying to make him a permanent stay on smackdown so as the, the segment ends you see him pick up the phone and you know when paul Heyman picks up the phone it's usually to say call roman reigns but this time he didn't say that and reason why i'm thinking that may have been the case is because then there's another backstage segment where you see adam pierce up on smackdown and he's basically trying to sign uh him to monday night raw as well so they're pretty much having this bidding war for randy orton and i i, I kind of believe that maybe paul Heyman tried to pull some strings called adam pierce to maybe see if he can try to do something to probably get him on uh monday night raw instead i think that's who he was going to call and it makes sense because he's trying to keep Randy Orton away from Roman Reigns in the bloodline because we've all heard that Randy Orton has some issues with the bloodline and he's going to want to get his revenge. So at the end of the show, it was pretty much, you know, set up to see who is Randy Orton going to sign with. Randy Orton comes out there to a very huge pop. I mean, crowd went crazy to see Randy Orton out there. He had Nick Aldis and Adam Adam Pierce with their respective contracts. And they're pretty much over here fighting over Randy Orton. Randy Orton hadn't even said a single word. They both have microphones. Hey, you need to come to Monday Night Raw. No, you need to be on SmackDown. Like they just going back and forth. Paul May I said Paul Mayman. Paul Heyman comes out there and he's like, yo, Randy Orton, he's back after, you know, however many months after the bloodline and Roman Reigns took him out or whatnot it's not gonna matter who you sign with because you're gonna end up getting put back on the shelf because of the bloodline once again that's when solo music hit solo comes out there with jimmy at his side and they proceed to run to the ring to attack um uh, randy orton now what i found funny is nick aldis if you're trying to sign this top prospect wrestler why would you let your top prospect wrestler get attacked and potentially put on the shelf again by the same group that you know attacked him in the past? You're trying to sign him. He does no good and he's injured. So I found it funny that Nick Aldis and Adam Pierce, they all got out the ring. They didn't call for security. They didn't call for officials or nothing. They just was about to let this man get beat up. <laughs> potentially it was a two-on-one situation randy orton tried his hardest to overcome the odds but it wasn't looking too good he started getting jumped and stomped out and that's when la Knight's music hit crowd went crazy he runs in for the save he starts evening up the odds and obviously it makes sense because la Knight said man my my feud with the bloodline it's not done yet so at this point they're fighting them off or whatnot, and then uh, L.A. Knight ends up uh, getting dragged out the ring and starting fighting Solo up the ramp. So it was really just Jimmy and Randy in the ring, and then, of course, you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Randy Orton set him up on the uh, second rope for the, uh, the, uh, the little draping DDT that he does. He does the, ah, all that shit now. <laughs> he did it again. Crowd went crazy. Hit him with the DDT or whatnot. And then, of course, he called up. He got ready for what we was all waiting for. And Jimmy got hit with a beautiful RKO. Crowd went crazy. At this point, he asked for Nick Aldis and uh, uh, Adam Pierce, who was just sitting there watching all this chaos happen, not trying to get no control over it, by the way. He uh, walks over there, get their contract, gets a microphone, 
He's looking at it. Paul Heyman saying, go to Monday Night Raw. You're safe on Raw. Don't go to SmackDown. You're safe on Monday Night Raw. He looks at it. And uh, he pretty much throws the Raw contract away. He uh, gets the SmackDown contract. And he signs it. And he throws it on Jimmy, who's laying dead in the ring. (laughs) So they play his music. Everyone's happy. Randy Orton will be on SmackDown exclusively. Paul Heyman's looking very upset. Or whatnot, and he even calls Roman Reigns. Now he he makes the call to call Roman Reigns. Nick Aldis is super happy. He's in the ring. He raises his hand. You know, oh yeah, man, I got Randy Orton. And one thing about Randy Orton, you gotta be careful with him because you never know when he'll strike. And Nick Aldis found out the hard way and catches a mean RKO out of nowhere for his trouble. The guy you just signed hits you with his own finishing move, the RKO, and he laid him out. So you have Nick Aldis laid out in the ring, Jimmy Uso laid out in the ring, and Randy Orton on the ring uh, post doing his traditional pose as the SmackDown goes off the air and crowds enjoying it. That was a funny little moment. Nick Aldis catching that RKO. It was just, just funny, man. You, you know, even Randy hit the shrug like, hey, man, got to be careful, man. Got to be careful when it comes to me, man. Like, you never know what happened. But overall, this was fun. I enjoyed it, man. I I, I had a good time on the stream with Chiseled and Dub. Uh, it was a great time. And, and it's going to be very interesting to see what they do next because it looks like they may be starting to build towards a Roman Reigns and Randy Orton feud relatively soon. Maybe at the Royal Rumble. I don't know. But it looks like that may be the case. The question is, is it too soon to build that match knowing that Randy Orton will probably lose and not beat Roman Reigns? So I don't know. But we will see how it plays out. But that looks like the next potential feud. Randy Orton, Roman Reigns. And what I would love to see, and if they really chose to do this, I would love to see Randy Orton one by one. Well, it's it's not that many members in Bloodline. But I would love for him to potentially get his get his revenge by punt kicking, (laughs) punt kicking Jimmy, getting him out the way, and punt kicking maybe solo potentially. Getting him out the way. Granted, I doubt they do that with Solo because they're still trying to make him uh very, you know, very strong. But punt kicking Jimmy, I'm okay <laughs> with it. So I don't know how they're gonna do it, but there needs to be multiple RKOs given to the bloodline in some form or fashion, and even Roman taking the RKO. But if they do set up the match, I just don't see Roman losing to Randy. Um, and some people may not like that. This is like, damn, he just came back and he's already losing to Ro- losing to Roman. Who knows? But we'll see. We'll see how things play out because LA Knight still has his beef with the bloodline. And it could be very interesting to see that dynamic, LA Knight and, Ro- and Randy Orton, their interaction because they both have gripes with the bloodline. And they're both going to want to get their hands on the bloodline. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this episode of SmackDown. Also, before we end the video, I got to say this. We was featured on SmackDown again. They used the same uh, uh, commercial they used on Monday Night Raw of uh, different reactors. And we was featured on SmackDown again. Uh, well, on WWE television again for our reaction to CM Punk returning back to, uh, to WWE. So that was awesome. We are two for two. We were on Monday Night Raw and we were on SmackDown. That was awesome, man. This has been a great week for us. For, uh, for wrestling wise and it's all because of you guys so i had to mention that before the video ended this is why this this week this month this episode of monday night raw and episode of smackdown this week will forever be memorable for us because the clutch squad in the clutch me and dub and chisel we were featured on the shows this week so i had to put that out there man so comment down below let me know y'all favorite part of the show um and also what you rate the, uh, smackdown on a scale of one to ten if you enjoyed the show or not and where do you think they're going to take the Randy Orton story and how that's going to play out uh, going forward? Do y'all think he will have a match with Roman Reigns at next year's Royal Rumble? We will see. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still on the speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.